All right, so now let's look at how we can deposit funds onto our Nexo account. We're gonna look at how to deposit fiat currency and also how to deposit cryptocurrency. Let's start with cryptocurrency first. So we're gonna scroll down here on our account page and then we're gonna see all the different assets that we can deposit and earn interest on here on Nexo. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the coin that you want to deposit and then you wanna click on top up next to that coin. I've already deposited some Bitcoin, as you can see here, onto my Nexo account. So I wanna deposit some US dollar Tether and also earn some interest on a stable coin. So I'm gonna click on top up next to US dollar Tether. And then I have to decide on what network I want to use to send those coins with. So I can decide between the Ethereum network and the Polygon network for US dollar Tether. So what I'm gonna choose is the Polygon network because the fees are lower and it's probably also gonna arrive quicker. So I'm gonna click on Polygon network and then it generates me my deposit address that I need to send those funds to. So one quick thing to note here is that never, that you shouldn't ever send wrapped coins to Nexo, otherwise they will probably be lost. So now what I'm gonna do is click on this copy button right here. So it copies the address to the clipboard. And then I'm gonna go over to my Binance account right here, where I've already went to the withdraw crypto tab and I've already chosen US dollar tether to withdraw. So now what I can do is just paste the address in right here. And I also, now what's very important is I have to ch choose the correct network as well. So I'm gonna to go to the drop down menu and then I'm gonna choose the Polygon network as you can see right here. It's very important that I choose the same network as I've chosen on my Nexo account. So I'm gonna click on Polygon right here and then I have to decide on how much I'm gonna send. So I'm just gonna send 100 US dollar tether. It's gonna be a one US dollar fee. So I'm gonna have 99 US dollars deposited into my Nexo account. So I'm gonna click on withdraw right here and now I have to go, I have to go through some more steps until it's actually withdrawn. Cool, so now I've went through the withdrawal process here on Binance and the US dollar tether is on its way to my Nexo account. So now we can go back to my Nexo account right here, close this window, and now we can follow the transaction on the transaction page right here. So when we click here, then we should see at some point a transaction coming in. So normally it takes a couple of minutes until you can see it here. So I'll pause the video and come back once I see it. So now I've waited like 10 minutes and reloaded the page. And as you can see now, we have a new transaction, the top up crypto of 99 US dollar tether. So we can see it here on the transactions page and it already went through. So we can go to the account page as well. And here we can also see the US dollar tether. So let's click on hide zero balance assets. And then we can see we have almost 200 US dollar tether now before it was 100. And as soon as it's on your account, it will start earning interest on those assets. So after uh, latest 48 hours, you should see your first interest payment in your Nexo account, which you're gonna see right here under interest earned. So now let's also look at how to deposit fiat currency onto our Nexo account. Again, we're gonna start on the account page right here. Then we're gonna scroll down and look for the fiat currencies that are available here on Nexo. So currently there's US dollars, euros and British pounds. As an example, I'm just gonna use euros. So I'm gonna click on top up next to the euro sign and then it will open up this window right here. So you wanna make sure to read the instructions carefully right here because there are subtle differences for each of the currencies that you can deposit. So for euros, you wanna make sure that the bank account name, the name under your bank account is the same name as you have used for your Nexo account. And then there's also a minimum top up of 1000 euros currently. It will be lowered soon as they say here. The good thing here with bank transfers in general is that Nexo doesn't charge any fees for getting fiat currencies onto your account. So again, make sure to read all the instructions carefully and then click on I understand. And then you're gonna get the wire transfer information for uh, depositing your fiat currency. So for euros, for example, you're gonna get the IBAN number right here. And then what's also very important to note is that you wanna make sure to include your reference number that you can see on your screen 
uh, to your bank transfer so that Nexo knows what Nexo account uh, that funds, uh, those funds belong to. So then just wire the money to Nexo and uh, then after one to three business days, the money should arrive in your Nexo account. And then you're gonna see it right here under your assets. And as soon as it's in your Nexo account, you're gonna start earning interest for holding those currencies on your account. You can also uh, trade them for cryptocurrencies and hold cryptocurrencies instead. You can do basically whatever you want then with the currencies here on Nexo.